Some lawmakers are more than a little angry on Capitol Hill, and they're letting the Air Force know exactly how they feel about the outsourcing of its tanker aircraft contract, some $35 billion worth. The Air Force giving European consortium EADS, those folks who make the Airbus, a $40 billion deal. That leaves American aircraft maker Boeing and its workers, well, out of luck. Bill Tucker has our report. The Air Force decision to pass up Boeing and give its new aerial refueling tanker contract to European EADS with partner Northrop Grumman sparked an anger and outrage in Congress. Boeing. With this contract, we can say bon voyage to 44,000 United States jobs and bon voyage to $40 billion of our taxpayer money. In the House Defense Appropriations Subcommittee, the Air Force tried to defend a decision that was indefensible in the opinion of many on the committee. The American public is rightfully outraged by this decision. I am outraged by this decision. It's outsourcing our national security. This is a crown jewel of American technology. We are now giving away to the Europeans one of the most significant things we as a country can do, and that is build these aerial Tankers. The point was made that the Airbus-built refueling tanker would only be assembled in Alabama after the tail, fuselage, and wings are all built in Europe by a company which is subsidized by European governments. The Air Force, by law, and couldn't right answer there. all of the questions because the bidders haven't been fully briefed, further aggravating committee members. But they did have an answer to the concerns about the contract going to a foreign company. I view Northrop Grumman as an American company. I view... General Electric, who has jobs from this in Ohio and North Carolina as an American company. General Electric will build the engines for the tanker. Not a good enough answer for one of the congressmen who's posted a petition on his website against the deal. Now, the committee members were also not shy to note that this contract rewards countries who did not support us in Iraq. Those committee members also wondered why the Air Force gave a contract to the parent company of Airbus, when we as a country are pursuing a trade complaint against Airbus, arguing that subsidies given to them by the European countries create an unfair advantage for Airbus, Lou. Well, I, I got to say, the United States Air Force, uh, Chief of Staff, uh, all of those uh, folks, uh, the uh, Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, right on down. What in the world are you people thinking about? I mean, this is idiotic. I, I, how can they even begin to justify us? justify this and that uh, assistant secretary there uh, Peyton in charge of acquisitions yes well she doesn't need to be in charge of acquisitions she needs to be in charge of just silly rhetoric to sit there and talk about I with well we're uh, is you know, what the General Electric an American company whatever about 2,000 jobs involved in this is that correct in Alabama that is correct and about 50,000 jobs would be supported had this thing gone to Boeing right and meanwhile we would be absolutely self-reliant on American technology for the building, the manufacture of these tankers. Correct. If it went to Boeing. That's it. Okay, that's it. The Air Force is actually is being run by idiots, and they've got to get to the bottom of this. It's absolutely unconscionable. It, why in the world are Norm Dix uh, and T.R., who, who bless them for taking this on, how can they put up with somebody standing in front of their committee like this? They were very frustrated at the committee hearing today, Lou. And, and they kept getting promises of a closed-door hearing that would explain it. You know what? There's an expression they should have given back to the Air Force. I, I mean, unbelievable. Bill, thank you very much. Bill Tucker. Uh, the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers, they are absolutely outraged over this idiotic Air Force tanker deal. The union represents uh, almost 40,000 Boeing employees. Tom Buffenbarger is the international president of the union, and he joins us tonight. Tom, thanks for being here. Uh, I know that you have been working hard with your union, your membership. Uh, I, I assume you've been lobbying uh, at the Air Force, the Department of Defense. How in the world could something like this happen? Lou, I'm as baffled as anybody that uh, we could allow uh, a procurement officer in the Air Force <laughs> to give away $40 billion of U.S. taxpayer money to a company uh, uh, headquartered in Toulouse, France, uh, a nation that's an erstwhile ally at best. I think many of us remember we made fun of Freedom Fries just a few years ago when we entered the conflict in Iraq. How we could turn over the crown jewel of uh, support for our nation's Air Force 
to foreign manufacturer is beyond me. And everybody in America needs to be outraged about this. Well, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And yet across America right now, people are sort of breathing in and breathing out over this issue going, well, what's the big deal? I, I, you know, the worker just got screwed again this time by the, the government to whom they're paying taxes uh, to, a, to one of its most illustrious service branches. Uh, represented by that assistant secretary with the, the I, frankly, I find the arrogance to respond to a United States uh, congressional hearing in the way in which she did, uh, asking whether or not, you know, uh, General Electric is an American company, uh, United, uh, it's a, United Technologies. What in the world is going on that this could happen? Uh, what's going on, Lou, is the transfer of American technology and with it the American jobs to foreign nations under the guise of uh, uh, you know, this is really, Lou, an economic deal. It's the military-industrial complex at its worst. Remember, uh, President Eisenhower oh, sure. war warned us about this. And now well, he we're warned us, it. but you know, Tom, i got to be honest. We've had some warnings about unions. We've had warnings about lots of things. But what's going on flat in our face is we're being told by this administration, this government, this Congress, that the American worker can go to hell. What in the world is it going to take to say, you know, work in this country should be respected, it should be valued, and the people who work day in and day out and raise families, by God, are going to be the primary focus of what we do in public policy. Lou, I couldn't agree more. Jobs are part of our national defense. Jobs are part of our economy and our future. All good things in America begin with a good job. And if we start giving and continue to giving those good jobs away to the rest of the world without taking any consideration what it's doing to hollow out our great country, something's wrong. And there's going to have to be a revolution, Lou. Whether it's a revolution at the ballot box or where, I don't know. But the people of America have to start contacting their elected leaders and screaming about this. This is wrong to steal the jobs, the hopes, and the futures of American workers and give it away to nations around the world. Tom. We built this country, Lou. We built it, and we're proud of it, and we love it. And what's happening at the hands of our government and the hands of the corporations is just plain wrong. And, you know, we're going to fight. We're going to take this on tooth and nail and well, get this decision turned around. And we're going to see that America gets what it deserves in the form of economic justice and fairness for American workers. Well, that would be a refreshing about face over the course of the past quarter century in this country. Tom Buffenbarger, thank you for being here. I want to say one other thing. Uh, Congressman uh, Tiart uh, is a Republican from Kansas, and he has put up on his website uh, uh, all of the information, the petition uh, for protesting. And I want to, I want to, uh, if you will, I believe uh, you can go, well, I'm going to just say it. We will have up on our website within a matter of moments his website, that petition, where you can go and be directed and to support that uh, petition and the American worker. And by the way, national security, because if there is anyone watching this broadcast who thinks that this country, this nation, should not be self-reliant in terms of the manufacture of its military aircraft, its weapons system, its materiel, uh, I, you know, I would be astonished. Uh, so please go there. Please support the, the congressman's petition, because you're, in my judgment, at least supporting this country, and it's a uh, and its proper values. Uh, and we have, uh, we have it up there in front of us now. Uh, Tom Buffenbarger, uh, House.gov, uh, Congressman Tiart, uh, it's, uh, it's good that we've got this underway. It's good that you're going to pursue your, uh, your direction, and I know you'll do so powerfully. Tom, thanks for being here. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Tom, Tom Buffenbarger, who is the president of the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers. Oh, man, he's got to have a, a cast iron lining in his stomach to put up with this, uh, working for those those folks in his union. I, I guess we all do, to put up with what this country is trying to pull off uh, against, uh, I mean, they're really t attacking the American dream, uh, as well as national security. Uh,